So hello children, how is going on these days? I hope all of you stay safe with your family members in this special vacation period due to Corona epidemic. This is a small support for you to continue your learning process further. So today I am going to do the 10th lesson of grade 7 science. Shall we start the? In day to day life, you can hear different types of sounds. Now pay your attention to the sounds that you hear. Can you identify them? Yes, of course. You can hear birds singing, water flowing sounds, noises of vehicles lot more. It means natural sounds as well as man-made sounds. In grade 6, you have learned about these things. Shall we talk more about sound? Yes. First, let's find out what is a sound. Sound is a form of energy. Just like electricity, light and heat, sound is a form of energy. What do you think about production of sound? How these sounds generate? Let's do a small activity to find out this. You can try this at home. Today we're going to show you how to see sound. Now this is a really simple experiment and one that you can do with everyday objects around the house. What you're going to need is some cling film, hundreds and thousands, scissors and a bowl and plate. What you need to do is get a good length of cling film and stretch it over the top of the bowl. What you're trying to do is make a sort of drum where the cling film is the skin of the drum. And of course, just like a drum, you need to make sure that the surface of the cling film is stretched nice and tightly across the top of the bowl. When you've done that, get your hundreds and thousands, make a small indent with the tip of a finger and sprinkle them onto the top of the cling film. And then if you try to talk directly into the cling film, you'll find that the vibrations from your voice make the hundreds and thousands dance around by themselves. If you think it's just my breath making them move, look what happens when I hum. See? And there you have it. That's how you can perform a really simple experiment of how to see sound. You can do the same experiment in different ways. Try these experiments at home. Now you know sound is generated due to the vibration of an object. This type of speedy to and fro movements are known as vibrations.
my dear students can you hear my voice yes i know you can hear my voice do you know how our vocal sound is produced let's do a small activity to find out this now place your fingers on the middle of your throat and speak slowly and record what your finger feels can you feel yes you can feel a trembling feeling when you touch your throat when speaking vocal sounds are vary from human to human because of the different shapes of air cavities in the throat more than nasal region you already know ears are our sensory organ of hearing when the eardrum vibrates according to the sounds and send the message to the brain by nerves the brain can identify the sound human ear can hear the sounds only between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz frequency range but some animals can hear more than that now let's discuss about the instruments which produce sound there are number of musical instruments which produce different types of sounds in each musical instrument vibrating part is different according to the part that vibrate we can divide musical instruments into three main groups instruments that produce sound by vibrating strings instruments that produce sound by vibrating membranes and instruments that produce sound by vibrating air how the sound travel sound travel as waves sound travel as waves in different mediums it is clear that sound can travel through air that's because you can hear my voice but do you know two astronauts can't hear each other in space because there is no medium to travel sound in space such an empty space without any medium is called as a vacuum sound does not travel in an empty space and sound needs a medium to travel sound which is produced from a sound source travels from where it is originated known as propagation of sound we hear different sounds when sound propagate through air to our ears see this belja experiment as shown in the figure suppose we fix an electric bell in the belja and connect it to a power supply then if we evacuate the belja using a vacuum pump can we hear the sound of the bell when it switch on of course we can't hear the sound that's because sound cannot travel through a vacuum well now let's talk about 
how the sound behaves in different mediums. It means in solid, liquids and gases. Sound travels faster through solids than liquid medium. And sound can travel faster in liquids than gaseous medium. Do you know the sound emitted by dolphins can hear clearly if we are in underwater? But the same sound emitted by them above the water can be heard very lightly. Why is that? The reason for this is that sound travels faster through water than air. During lightning, thundering sound and light emit at the same time. But we see light first and hear the sound after. Can you guess the reason? Okay, I will tell. The reason is that the speed of sound is slower than the sound of light. When a cannon is fired, the sound and smoke emit at the same time. But a far away observer can see the smoke first and can hear the sound later. Try to find the reason for this incident. At the end of the lesson, you should learn one thing more. That is about sound pollution. Too much sounds can pollute our environment and also it can damage our eardrum. So, Think twice about this too. Thank you all for joining my lesson. So, see you next time. Stay safe at your home. Thank you very much for joining. Have a nice day.